Okay, folks, once again, we're here in Hawaii, and this is today's 15th, okay, so you should have the date down there. It's going to be starting out as November 14th, but this is the most recent footage. Now, I'm backing it up and backing it up and backing it up here, okay? Watch the gigantic, enormous, gosh damn shadow, and I just seen that right now as I was freezing this, okay? Is it a cloud bank? I don't believe so, Okay. Now, is it just a cloud or the, of the, of the uh, volcano? No, it shouldn't be. Unless there is, if you go research the footage, and that the idea that where they're shooting this from is higher, and that's where the doggone uh, camera's at on the webcam that sees pretty much what... Now, you've got to remember, telescope would go out and zoom in on a star up in space, okay? But that better be the uh, observatory in the mountain that it's on top of, or we have a gigantic ass, big ass, something that comes up. But the number one thing I was freezing here, and I just caught that right quick to make a comment, but it should just be where the, this doggone camera is mounted at. Okay, so now watch the V that flashes around, folks. I've had a V video, and you can go all the way back and look at my videos and find the V video. Uh, I actually don't know YouTube good enough, honestly, even though I've slammed 76 videos out in the last... How many months? Now there's the V. Watch that V back and forth. It first went that direction, which I believe would be west. Okay, but now it's going to come back. Watch it'll come back the other direction. Bam, bam. Okay. Now if you go to my pirate website, which my link is at my YouTube site at Bino Black's channel, and if you could look to the left, I've got my pirate website. Okay. Now at the sun. We have seen those two gigantic, and if you go to my photo gallery at my pirate site on, you know, my address is on my, and I'll even put that link on below this, and remember, tell everybody about the pull the show tab down, so the idea of when somebody asks me questions, I don't have to email people, I can just put an answer to a question that a lot of people ask in the showdown tab below the YouTube video. Okay, now check this doggone flash out again. Now, I have froze it with photos before, and it looks like, and that's the only thing I can compare it to, that if it's not these beams of light flying around all of the universes, infinite, in space, then it went by the sun at tremendous size and speed, that the idea that these light flashes, now that's right, more than likely we have it figured in, and some tell someone proves me totally wrong, but it's not, it is a second sun, it should be 77% of our sun, and the idea that Rigo Cantaris B does not rise. It stays there, and we rotate toward it, i.e., this is footage in Hawaii. Okay, now watch the light flashes again. There they go. Okay, they're going to the west. Going to the west, the light flashes, okay? And now you can play with my video here of re-video taping this, and there was one that came back the other direction toward the east, and there's a bunch of flashes to the, the west. There it comes up more than likely Rigel Cantaris B and check it out. And it's just like a penis, ladies and gentlemen, for crying out loud. Now, whether you want to call it a laser or whatever damn action it does, check out the big nozzle up there, okay? And that's either super giant suns, that's our, you know, that it not it's not our sun, okay? But it is in the direction, it gets in the direction of our sun later in the day. There's the lights again as I back up the video. And you're going to have to figure, help me figure out, is this the, the Kuiper Belt flashing down on Earth? Or is it, like I'm saying, light traveling through space? And there is the big penis coming down, folks, because the idea that this thing is blasting the Earth with electrical energy, light energy. And like I say, eventually that will end up possibly igniting that volcano and there's very damn good substantiating evidence that the idea that it possibly did we have matches of light beams hitting the ground just before the Japanese volcano that is still active and is still flaring up and there's another one coming and hitting the ground okay so there's a spectacular light show from more than likely our until someone proves us what it is besides Rigel Cantaris B Kent Terrace with a, C, with a K and then E and T. And then uh, if you look at the last video of, uh, I believe you will end up, and now so we have a big meteor shower or something today, okay? So that matches up with that shower that we see at the sun that people have had 
uh, researched in years ago, like back in 2007, and so seen the, and now that's probably could be one of our asteroid belts that's close by and stuff like that. Uh, this is all footage today from up there. Okay, so the idea of that. Now, that could have been some weather at the very end there. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen that play all the way through. So we're just going to spend this whole video basically looking at the footage here in Hawaii and keep on discussing that the idea that until someone can prove us wrong, we figure that that, now I guess it was a comet that went by there. Let's go back there for a second. So there's a lot of action last night, the 14th. There, see that? There was a comet went across the sky, folks. Watch the comet come down there. There's going to be a comet come through the sky. There you go, two of them. The V action also, folks, like, just like we see up at the sun, okay? Back that up again just for a second, and then we get the light show down below. So going back to, go back and we'll research and watch my V on Earth. And basically, it's the same footage in Hawaii that I went back. I wanted to go back and take a look at this for a long time. And there you go, V action. If you freeze these and get screenshots of freezing, you're going to see where the idea that it looks like a, a light strobe. It looks like a lined up set of, of lights. So that's what I really believe. It's the Kuiper Belt. And here comes our... You know, you can call it a destroyer. You can call it what? And it, I, we laugh. I'm sitting here laughing and showing you the data, but the idea that there's a damn good chance, and there's that halo, that arc. We see that up by the sun. That the idea that there is actions with the supergiants and the sun that are the cause of some very possible uh, hazardous. And uh, since I'm doing full screen today here, trying to take care of what we did on the video last night, the idea that uh, I'm going to have to stop here in a second and check the video time and see how we're doing we have this playing back through so the idea that I believe we're at the 15th okay so then tomorrow or whatever if we see something interesting to go back to but this is highly interesting action today here is on the 15th that this is all Hawaii time don't start looking in and researching it and see now see you see there was like a meteor shower at that 447 a.m. on the 15th today and before that, maybe an hour before, you'd have to watch the clock going back. And the idea that I messed up and put the bar down there again. But then we have something, probably some weather that hit the camera. So, Okay, so I went and looked at the clock. We've got seven minutes left here. So we're going to watch these. Because the idea that you want to freeze these V lights that's come across. So let's go to full screen. So here they start coming again, and you're going to see them lights coming, bam, bam, bam. Going to the west first, there they go. So you can stop and try to freeze those. You can freeze those and get a look at those, and we're going to figure out if that's those same matching comments that we end up seeing up by the sun. And remember, this isn't the sun, more than likely this is... Say it with me, folks. Rigel, Cantaris, B, more than likely. Because it's 77% the size of the sun. And there it comes down with a big old phobe hitting the ground. Tetrahydrin. One right after the other. How many objects are in line there? Now, uh, taking an, uh, a little hint, maybe I'm getting a scientific hint from a uh, science person out there if you look at the video I made I believe it would have been but anyway he made a comment if you check the comments to the latest videos the last five or six and here comes this meteor shower or whatever energy shower or whatever we got because it wasn't weather there okay now at the very end of this it's gonna be look like it is weather that basically early was and there went another sun streaming across the sky because that wasn't early enough to be so we may have some objects that are in this asteroid belt that are basically going around earth but I do know that these V's that you're gonna see here are getting flashed down from above in space okay and ie Let's go back here real fast because we did see a few minutes ago in the early part of the video, there was one of those flashes, but the idea that you will see a V flash looks like comets through the sky up there. Okay. 
So does that come down lower, that V flash that you just seen there? Back it up so everybody can understand there's going to be a V flash. There it was right there. Even why I pointed it, there's a V flash right there, V flash. That's not me making it there. That V flash is there. That V flash is there in the sky. It's there in the sky. And you can see the ticker. I'm not even going to count it off, but it looks like 18 something. There's that V flash. Okay. Now, does that keep dropping down? And i.e. that makes seems to make sense. That drops down hella fast and does it not within an hour. And then it's flashing across the sky, across the clouds over there. Like I say, the one flash goes, to the, a lot of the majority of the flashes go towards the west. Because see, Rigel Cantaris B, and like I say, somebody disclaimed that. That, that is not Rigel Cantaris B. Tell us what it is. Okay? Now, Getting to the idea of the guy that made a quote, that could be a scientific, you know, drop hint to us, Centaurus. Now we, I know that there's a lot of Centaurus. It starts with C E N T I R S, and there's a, and I'll actually attach it to this video, the explanation, and I'll even show the question that the guy made. But see, what he made didn't exist because he basically stated it like Rigel Centaurus and not Kent with K E N T R. You know how the Kentaris is spelled. Okay, so the idea I thought he was trying to make fun of me, being you know thinking that it doesn't exist, but I'm beginning to believe that the idea is pleading that he may have been giving us information because what we are seeing, uh, there's like a river shower, and then we've I do know back in 2007 and earlier, people that watch Soho, there's been showers like that. Now there went that. See that to the left. Let me get that real fast so that everybody's remembering. That. That's not a car driving along in the night sky or anything like that. Watch this here get this up so this moves out of the way but watch there's going to be a little sun going across there it is now is that and then that was at five okay now we know that the sunrise over in hawaii and this is all hawaii time this ticker you're watching now there it goes at 505 okay so do we have a is that a fireball close orbit whatever or is that but that's basically down here in our atmosphere on Earth going by, folks, just above the clouds. Get back at 5 o'clock. I don't know how I'm doing on video time now. But you'll see that sun come. Here it come. Watch that left-hand corner here. There it goes. So what the hell is that? Because that's not... So we have another object we have found to be keeping an eye out for. So what is orbiting Earth right now? Okay, now I'm pretty damn sure that that's just weather and moisture on the camera at the very end, folks. Okay. But at this so with us recently and also today, it's still on there. Uh, we're at Soho for images. So the idea, is this related to what is orbiting what we just seen in Hawaii? Okay, so we make another find. 505 or 5-ish or late 400 hour. That's Hawaii time, folks, not here. This is all these UTC Zulu time, but the idea at 5 o'clock Hawaii time, we see that very bright comet or something go orbiting by, and that wasn't no damn satellite. Okay, folks? So and it wasn't an airplane, so the idea we found another object. Okay? So, very interesting to find out about this and find out about that. Now, was that the fast... Uh, one object that uh, let me go to that real fast. What's the number on that? Okay, basically converting the time. Uh, it's in turns up to be 2:45 GMT time. Okay, just use that for a fast computation of the time, because mainframes are never wrong. Okay, so crunch that through so I don't even make a human mistake so the idea and yes the date is wrong because it would be the 14th that we were interested in but it doesn't matter about that we just want to know the time differentiation and then go to fireball watch this so quickly you can go back and freeze this info and also I can bring up the summary on that orbit <coughs> hang on i.e. the data on this object, only one object on the 14th. 
So the only close out and this is Huntsville and Tullahoma, and the idea that the time doesn't match. It's an hour and 45 minutes later or something like that, an hour and 40-some minutes later, because this was UTC time, and that's what the conversion was to 2.45-something UTC time, okay? Click on disclosure.